It's round two, and our experts are going to have seven questions to choose from now, ranging in difficulty from one to seven. But those $7 questions are really hard. Remember, the experts can either choose to answer or push. But if they push and their opponent gets it right, their opponent gets the money. Eric, we're going to start with you. You have the lowest score, but it's a really good score. I want to see you swipe and tell me what number comes up. We have a $7 question Seven. right off the bat. Do you want to answer it or do you want to pass it to Will or Michael? I'm going to pass it to Will. Will, we go now okay. to the world of Billy Joel. Now, this is your category. I've got to take this one, right? <laughs> you have to take yeah. this. All right, no let's go. About it. <laughs> While playing at what Wilshire Boulevard piano bar in the early 1970s did Joel write Piano Man? I believe it was called the Executive Lounge. Oh, the executive it was club? called the executive room. Oh. The executive room. Half credit. Executive. You were, you were a room away from seven dollars. A room away. Swipe and see if you can screw one of your buddies. All here. right, here we go. A dollar. You can answer it, or you can pass. I'm going to answer it. You're going to answer the one dollar question. This is the last question you answer in this round. What Broadway musical is based on the works of Billy Joel? Moving out. Moving out is correct. Put a dollar in your pocket. We move on to you, Michael. A swipe. Four dollars, you can pass it to Eric, or you can answer it yourself. I'll answer it myself. Answer it yourself. This is The Lord of the Rings, and we're of course talking about the books. Your four dollar question. What is the first and last name of the owner of the Inn of the Prancing Pony who belatedly delivers Gandalf's letter to Frodo? Barlaman Butterbur. Barlaman Butterbur is worth four dollars. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Eric, back to you here for a swipe. Okay. Two dollars. Two dollars. Answer, or you can pass only um, to Michael. I will, um, I'll take it. You're going to take the two dollar question. The category is the Spice Girls. What actor in Spice World previously played James Bond? Roger Moore. Two dollars for you, Eric. Nicely done. We come back to you, Will, for a swipe. And Try it again. Six dollar question. Here is where you can get into business. Do you want to give the six dollar question to Michael or to Eric? I'm going to give the six dollar question to Eric. Eric, here is your $6 question, the category again, Spice Girls. On an audience with the Spice Girls, what song did the girls sing with Luther Vandross? Mm. Was it Mama? It was Ain't No Stoppin' Us Now. Ah. Okay, the $5 question, uh, this goes to you, uh, Michael. I want you to give the names of the two companies one in Great Britain, one in the U.S. that published the trilogy in the 1950s. Um, Harper and Row in the United States, and I need an answer. Um, gosh, I can't remember it. Um, in the U.K., it was uh, Allen and Unwin, Unwin, and in the United States, so it didn't matter if you got it. It's Houghton and Mifflin. Right. All right. We have a close game. We are going to be back here with round three of the experts.